What's going on guys? Wednesday morning, April 5th. Absolutely beautiful day once again. I love this time of year in Florida. Perfect temperature, not too hot, not too humid. Um, even though it does, it's getting pretty darn warm come uh, afternoon time, but morning, nice to get your cardio done. Take a nice stroll. So right now I'm headed to the gym. I basically, it's a nice 25 minute walk. So it's a, a decent amount of low intensity steady state. And then from there, I do, um, I do a lot of core work and I might do a few hit intervals on the battle ropes. Um, that's something I've never previously done in my other contest preps. Um, I only used to do like modified wing gates using a spin bike, but I do like doing something that's more upper body dominant because I train my legs three days every eight days. So I feel like my legs got a ton of work and so does my upper body, but I've just been really enjoying mixing it up with the uh, battle ropes. So I'll probably do a few intervals on there. Um, after that, I'll smash a protein shake and hopefully if I have enough time, I'll be working on my posing routine. Um, so yeah, everything's going well. Um, a little frustrated with how my weight has been trending this week. I just feel like I've been having high weigh-ins, but then I looked at my seven day average and I'm actually down 1.6 pounds. So I don't know why, I guess I had really, really low lows, but my averages have been so far away from the low low that they kind of got to my head, but things are still going well. Because today's a non-training day, um, I have my fats higher and my carbohydrates lower. So a typical day for me is 50 grams of fat, 225 grams of carbs, and 230 grams of protein. Since I'm not actually training today and I don't care about my performance, it's not like I need to crush it in the gym. Um, I increase my fats to 75 grams, but I also decrease my carbohydrates to 150 grams and then I leave protein alone, I leave it the same. So uh, that's just some insight in how I approach my nutrition. To me, it's like a very logical way to carb cycle. You're not just giving yourself high days, low days and medium days for the hell of it. You're doing it with a purpose and in a way that kind of addresses your actual uh, energy expenditure and your performance needs. So I hope that helps guys. Hope everyone's having a great week. Um, probably going to start off this week's vlog with this footage right here. And uh, I really appreciate everyone tuning in. I appreciate all the kind words. I get a lot of DMs on Instagram, getting some comments on the YouTube channel, and the support means a lot, man. Um, I do a lot of rants on IG stories, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me there, just at Christopher.Barricat. Um, this contest prep can be a very lonely road, man. You spend so much time with yourself, and it really gives you the ability to reflect on yourself as a person, as an individual, how you can improve your life, not just from an athletic standpoint, not just as a bodybuilder, but just as a human. So this contest prep, as, long as, as well as every other contest prep, you learn a lot about yourself and you really do become a better person. So for those of you who haven't prepped yet, but are thinking about it, as long as you can stay disciplined and true to yourself, I highly recommend it. It's such a rewarding experience. It's probably the hardest thing you're gonna do in your life, but with that, you know, with those obstacles that come your way and by pushing through and, and doing something you've never done before and taking your, your mind somewhere it's never been before, um, you're able to achieve something incredible from a physical standpoint but more than anything man from a character building standpoint so buckle up 
get your mind right and uh, don't be scared to take yourself to a new level guys I hope you enjoy this week's footage and I'll catch you soon so here's some footage guys from uh, that Wednesday mornings cardio session basically um, I did a little bit of lists you know walking to the gym got into the gym did six intervals on these battle ropes um, I did them for 10 to 15 seconds each and then each time I used the battle rope, I kind of did some sort of different maneuver, whether I was going straight up or straight down, or doing like clockwise or counterclockwise movements. Um, I really do enjoy the battle ropes. I'm so used to doing Wingate sprints that it's cool to mix it up. It's way harder than you think. Like by the end of 10 or 15 seconds, once you put the ropes down, you realize how high your heart rate actually got. And here was posing, uh, a quick posing update from like Thursday. Um, so this is kind of the middle of the week, and although I did a posing update this morning, um, I'm having technical difficulties getting it on iMovie and actually uploading it. So um, I have the footage for myself, which is most important because I use that footage to really assess my physique from week to week because the lighting is consistent. You know, I'm using the same exact spot in my living room. Um, of my apartment with that natural lighting coming in so the lighting here is way different but I hope it gives you guys just a quick idea of how things are looking um, I do feel like I was a bit tighter today this morning because I've had four days to make progress and believe it or not at this stage um, it seems like things are starting to get a little bit sharper day in and day out but um, I will discuss with you guys a lot of the adjustments I made this week right after this posing footage and uh, just open up a bit and share with you guys some of the things I was reflecting upon earlier this morning when I was doing my cardio and walking to the gym. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate everybody tuning in. It's been a pleasure so far to have everyone follow along and I can't even explain to you guys how much your support means. So, you know, I'm truly grateful for everybody's support and uh, I'm just excited to to see what I can bring, see what my final package looks like. What's up, everybody? So this is the third episode of Chris's Contest Chronicles. I'm freaking eight weeks out. I can't believe it. Um, I want to give you some insight on some of the adjustments I made this week. Basically, um, as the week started progressing, I did notice visual changes, but my weight wasn't decreasing at the rate I would like. Um, by any means so I ended up taking away 15 grams of carbs on my training days and on my non training days so my previous macros were 50 grams of fat 225 grams of carbs and 230 grams of protein I reduced 15 carbs so now I'm at 210 grams of carbs on my training days and then on my non training days like today where I only did some cardio um, my carbohydrates went from 150 grams all the way down to 135. So my fats are higher. I'm having 75 grams of fat on a non-training day, but I did drop my carbs down to 135 and I kept protein the same at 230. Uh, I'm going to show you guys why I did that. I'm going to insert my weight tracking chart so you guys can see how things were trending. Um, another thing, I also feel like my digestion has been fine, but just keeping it 100 with you guys, my bowel movements haven't been as regular as they normally are. So I'm really starting to focus and prioritize my food sources. Um, I'm actually eliminating one of the carbohydrate sources I was using. I was using this bread that is very low carb and high protein. They add vegetable protein to it. Um, the macros on the bread were 2 grams of fat, 9 grams of carbs, and 8 grams of protein per slice. It's so, like absolutely amazing macros, but because my regularity kind of changed once I introduced that, um, I'm going to omit that and start getting back to my brown rice and my lentils that I make on a weekly basis, and my sweet potatoes and my broccoli, and just more of those um, fruits and vegetables more whole foods, try to get my fiber intake slightly higher. 
Um, I guess because as my carbohydrates are getting reduced, my fiber intake is going to naturally come down with it, but I need to make sure it stays high enough. So I hope that guy that gives you um, different ideas on how and when you might want to make adjustments in your own nutrition, um, at least give you some insight as to why I'm making those adjustments myself. Um, feel free to share if you guys have different experiences throughout your contest preps or your dieting periods. Um, but on another note, guys, this is completely off topic. It is a bit more philosophical. But today when I was walking to the gym, I was listening to um, some meditative practicing, um, essentially music or audio. It was like an audio book that basically helps walk you through meditation. And I also listened to an audio book that speaks about the power of now and basically living in the present. And one thing it speaks about is there's three different gateways and how you can start being more present and actually living in the now. And one of those re one of those gateways is through your own body. And I think this is something that all of us experience and especially everyone that is obsessed with this lifestyle and for all of us that have fell in love with the gym for one reason or another, I think this is the main reason why. Um, basically, when we're in the gym, so many of us basically go to the gym and associate their training with their own way to, basically, it's like their own therapeutic treatment. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is because when you're training, you're able to shut your mind off. You're able to connect with your body. And for once, it feels like your brain is silent. You know, your mind is silent. Everything calms down. You're able to just be more in tune with yourself, like your true inner self. And you're able to quiet your mind, you know. As our days go on, it seems like our minds are always running, always so busy. You're always thinking about the future, the next task that you have to accomplish, the next thing that you need to do, you know, whether it's work responsibility, school responsibility, life responsibility. You're always planning ahead, planning for the future, and you're always worried about the future, and you're never truly living in the present. However, when we go to the gym, it's like the world stops. Everything that was running in your mind kind of pauses. Your mind is clear and you're just in tune with your body. And I feel like that's why training is so therapeutic to so many of us. Um, and a lot of us don't realize that, you know, it's, it's that time where our minds are quiet. It's just us and our body and we're connecting with ourselves on a deeper level than we normally do. All of those distractions, all of that fog and they call it um, like mental noise, it's basically stop for a couple of moments, whether you're in the gym for 45 minutes or you're in there for two hours, you're able to just go somewhere else mentally. And it's amazing that we're able to all experience this and we kind of all share this. For those of us that live this fitness lifestyle, it's, it's pretty cool. Um. Unfortunately, we can't spend 24 seven in the gym, but there's so many different ways that we can kind of quiet our minds and find a way to connect with our true inner being, like identify with who we truly are, shut our minds off for a moment, um, I highly suggest you guys, you know, maybe try out yoga if you've never done that. That's something I wish I can implement on a more regular basis. Um, I was actually doing it once per week last semester. However, right now I don't have access to those classes. Um, maybe I will maybe sign up for a yoga studio or something like that because I really got good benefit out of it. But there's other options, you know, I'm going to start practicing meditation a bit more. If you guys have any tips for me, please let me know. Um, meditation is one of those things where as I was, when I was younger, I wasn't really interested in it. Even my brother was 
very, very skilled at meditating and he really knew what he was doing. He always offered his time to teach me how to meditate and stuff like that. But at the time, I just wasn't interested. Now looking back, I wish I had, um, I was able to learn from that. But hopefully I can start taking steps in that direction to become, you know, a master of my own mind and kind of be in more control of what's going on up here instead of having it run like like a madman and kind of just drive me crazy sometimes so um anyway my apologies for not having any training footage on this week's um chris's contest chronicles just wasn't able to really get anything recorded i didn't train with a partner any days this week so um i hope i get training footage for you guys this upcoming week for the next update my buddy Chris Elkins is flying into town in two days, and we're working on our Max Hype training program. So make sure you check that out. It's going to drop on May 1st. We're going to be done with it. Um, we've had three rounds of alpha testers. So we have, I think, around 160 people that have their hands on the program, and we have our own private Facebook group. They are absolutely loving it. The feedback has been amazing. People are enjoying their training, they're making great progress. And I just can't wait to put this product out so you guys can take advantage of it. Um, it is for well-experienced lifters. You need at least three, three training years of experience or more. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope to see you guys next week. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. You can DM me on Instagram, and you can even shoot me an email at chris at competitivebreed.com. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.